When she's out on the road, Anna Whiteley is always on the lookout for advice from the world's top players and coaches to improve her game and hopefully yours as well. Wow! Today, Anna's with one of the game's all-time greats and trying to master the tricky art of pitching or chipping over a bunker. We're down here on the range with six-time major champion Sir Nick Faldo at the final of his Faldo series. Sir Nick, we have set up quite <laughs> the tricky shot here. This yeah. is one that I dread, that I know amateurs at home will definitely yeah, dread. Absolutely. It's pitching over a huge bunker, trying to get check on the ball so it doesn't fly off the other side. Where do you start? You're painting a good picture. <laughs> the difficulty of it, yeah. So, well, show me, hit me a couple, and I and what I would like you to do is, well, you would just show me yeah. your normal action, and let's see how I can help, because a lot of players, um, number one is, we got which flag, we got four flags, which one are you going yeah, for? Yeah, very true. You're going to tell me after. I was just trying to get it over. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> left one. So I'll go for the right one, shall go I? Go for the right one, yeah. please. So alignment is, is you know, very important. You know, practice swings are very important. You know, you visualize the ball fly, you visualize it landing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go and do that for me first. Step, step away from the ball. Yeah. No, right here. Ah. So you can see, you're a good visualizer. See it fly. Yeah. See it land, see it hit the pin, see it go in. Okay. Oh, why not? I can see it. There you go, right there. Give it a go. See if you can track that ball. That was sort of where I visualized Sort of it. where I was trying to go. Yeah. yeah. So very important. So start of number one, club face. Mm -hmm. um, make sure it's square to, to your intended line. Number two, amateurs, I can use the never word, never try and help it up. Right. You've got all this loft, yeah. and we're a game of opposites, where if we hit down on the golf ball, we squeeze the golf ball, yeah, and you, you get your loft that way. Yeah. If you try and help it up, doesn't matter what level you are, you get a horrible sounding thing or you bounce it behind. So we're going to try and hit down, down a touch, so ball. have a good conscious look at the club face, mm -hmm. you, your angle of attack. And then the other thing I... We want to avoid using that. When, when, once you start getting a little older, the hands get a little nervous, get a bit overactive, and you want to help it. Yeah. So get them out of the equation. Okay. So you, you want to use your big muscles. Mm -hmm. So think, I like thinking of my lats because they're the biggest chunk of my body. So if I turn my lats back and through, I, you know, back of my back. Yeah. So if you turn your right lat back on your backswing and swing your left lat through, yeah. Just do a couple of practice swings like that. Just use your big muscles. Right leg back, left through, boom. Yeah. Right, and again. Then we got to add a bit of, that's really good. But then add a little bit more tempo. Go give it a one, two. So it's mm -hmm. one with a one, two. And again. Got to have the tempo. Yeah. One, two. Great, that looks good. Now just commit to that. Okay. Get that sand off the face. <laughs> Make life easy. Right, good face angle. And now you just think of the one, two. Nearly, just enough, missed, just yeah. missed it a touch. So now really commit to the follow through. You know, you're 20 yards short. Mm -hmm. So again, have a practice swing yep. where you feel like you're going to get the full length now. Better. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sand on the face. <laughs> Give yourself. <laughs> right, come on now. One, two, use your lats. Right lat back, right lat through. Swing the club okay. towards the flag. There you go. Yeah. So that feels very different. I don't even think about my hands when I'm thinking about that. Well, the other thing is... Because the body is just moving a little bit, mm -hmm. don't get in your six iron stance. Yeah. Because your body's only moving this much. You haven't got enough to actually get a little bit more like in your impact position. Uh -huh. So you're already in impact position because you're just rocking these big muscles back into impact. Let me show you from yeah. camera angle. Look, if I if I set up here's a six iron stance, a lot of people think and look, I've got no connection and I try to help it. Yeah. I got that. So I do the opposite. I think, okay, here's, here's my impact position in my goal swing. When I do a smaller version, right? So I'm already in impact. Now I've just got to get the big muscles to turn back and through, right? Keep your eyes on the back of the ball all the time. Look at the rough or the, what the lie, even ah, when it's lovely. gone. Look at that one. You know, I always say for fun, visualize. Visualize the professionals. Mm -hmm. So for me, who's got a really cool, fun tempo, nice and smooth, Louis Oosthuizen. Yeah. Agree? Yeah. So I would say, Louis, this is what I would do. I'd go, Louis, Louis, because it's, <laughs> seriously, because it's the yeah, same like back that. and through. I don't want anything quicker. So I would stand up and think, Louis, Louis, right. And it would, so I'd do all the mechanics, and then when I finally want to go 
um, I've got the feel and the tempo. It's Louis Louis. Look at that. Oh, yeah, lovely. And lovely. with a bit of luck, oh, yes. it's... Oh, it was, it was online. <laughs> Good stuff, thank you so All much. All right, Cernic. how about that? This is a situation that a lot of people dread, but with Cernix tips, hopefully it will help you all at home.